Oh, hey there, my name's David. On this episode, I'll be doing a review of these, which are the BRS crampons. These are basically some cheap Chinese crampons that I got two years ago and I've used them a handful of times. I'm not a mountaineer, I'll first off say that. If you're a full on mountaineer, you should probably get some North Face or whatever brand you want. Super expensive crampons, but if you're a hiker like me who just needs crampons once in a while and you don't want something that's gonna break, um, you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of weight, then these are a good option. So I got these because not only were they cheap, I bought them for about $65 Canadian two years ago. Now today, because of Captain Kill in Russia, everything's more expensive, so I think these are actually about 65 US right now, and I'm 85, $90 Canadian, which is still about half price of normal crampons, if not more. So uh, the one downside with these, as I mentioned, is they're really heavy. They're 2.5 pounds or 1,161 grams, and I weighed that myself, because sometimes measurements you get from companies or whatever are not accurate or they don't include the bag or whatever. So that's the total weight of these things. So these crampons, let me open this up. So this bag, first off, is a um, pretty good bag. It does keep them secure. You don't get poked. The crampons are having, you know, shot out through the side and because you don't want your gear getting cut up. So that's pretty important actually. Um, also this bag, side note, is fantastic if you uh, have a drone, if, uh, if you have the DJI Mavic Mini, it fits perfect in this bag. So if you're not bringing your crampons, it makes an excellent bag for a drone. But um, so I'll first off show you the bag. After a couple years, it's a little bit, you know, kind of cut up. You can see like there's a little bit of flaking in there and stuff. Um, but in general, it's pretty good. And on the end here, they've got this really dense fabric and that's where the, the teeth of the crampons go in. So they stab into that so they don't puncture out. But the rest of it's also very sturdy. It's just extra support here. And also with that, there's a, there's a hook on the back so you can clip it with a carabiner and there's also another little tab on the top here. So, you know, if you're not one of those people who likes your bag bouncing, you can clip this down on two spots. Now for the crampons themselves, you'll see the nice bright green. I always like bright gear so I don't lose it, you know, whether it's my knife or whatever it is, I don't want to have to look for something that's black because then end up, you put it down on the ground and maybe you walk right away, you don't see it. So they're uh, bright green. These crampons have 14 teeth. They're made of solid steel. As I said, two and a half pounds, 2.55 pounds. So I just use these when I get uh, summit objectives. They're usually maybe a bit of ice or snow, snowy ice, whatever at the top or a little glacier or something. Um, that's what I'm using my crampons for. I'm not going on huge uh, expeditions where I'm spending hours in crampons. So the construction of these, when I bought them, I looked, I was a little bit, you know, wary of kind of buying um, Chinese, kind of cheaper Chinese crampons. These are the, like kind of the most expensive ones you can get from China, but uh, they do sell these on Amazon now, which I'll link down below. But, cause I ordered these direct from China back two years ago before they brought them over. I just wanted to find whatever was the most sturdy at the best price. I didn't care about the weight and that's what this, you know, came out to be. I haven't had anything aside from a tiny little bit of rust there's really, yeah, I mean, a little bit of wear and tear on the teeth, that's to be expected, that's what you're stepping on all day, um, or kicking in, but there's no cracks, there's no, nothing, they feel incredibly secure. I never felt like these were gonna break at any point. You can see there, there's plastic on them. Um, this green stuff is all plastic. Uh, they say this is good down to minus 60 degrees Celsius. I think you have other problems if you're in a situation where you're minus 60 degrees Celsius, and you can see it can adjust the size, obviously, to fit your boot. And they're pretty straightforward. They're not some luxury uh, crampon. You just put your boot in there. This is obviously a little bit weird doing this without my foot in it, but just tie it through, crank it down, and you're good to go. Now, some of them just go single loop through and they tie on this side. Uh, more expensive ones, this one, double it back through the hole, crank it down real tight. And then there's a buckle on the side here, a double buckle. And you're just gonna go through both and then back through one and then it pinches it tight like that. And then you can crank that down and you're good to go. So that's basically it. You can see lots of spikes. The teeth are really long and they also kick in really far in the front, which is nice. Um, for me, these crampons have been good because I just use them usually for only up to about an hour, just to kind of cross one section of a glacier or whatever, like on a big interior mountain, we climbed across the glacier and up. And yeah, they took them off and then back onto 
you know, leave your crampons there, back up the rock on, on your boots and come back down, put the crampons back on. I haven't done big traverses where I'm going across glacial walls for six hours straight. Then for me though, they've worked out perfect. I'm a hiker, I'm not a, I don't class myself as a mountaineer. If you're looking to get something that is cheaper and will get the job done when you need it, I've, you know, I have no problem recommending these. If you follow me for a long time, you know I don't review gear on here fresh out of the box. You can't review something when you <laughs> pop it fresh out of the box, it's ridiculous. So I have used these for two years now, and yeah, they're, they're pretty good crampon. I'm sure the high-end ones are much better. They have better features and bells and whistles. Um, I know they do, and I know you can get the super light ones. These are solid steel, which is good. They won't break, or it's very unlikely they'll break. You can get the aluminum ones, which are much lighter, but those ones can potentially bend, especially if you have to cross on rock. For that reason, I'd rather just carry these heavy honking ones, and I know they'll stick up if, you know, they'll stay together if I need them in a pinch. So you can see here, this, these just simply cinch onto your boot. There isn't a clasp that hooks onto the lug on your boot. That's obviously a more advanced mountaineering uh, style crampon. These work great. You put hiking boots in them and you just have to make sure to really crank down hard on this and get it really nice and tight and you're good to go. Now for putting these away, they actually go together really quickly and easily. I'll show you here. You just wanna push that in, push that in stick them together so the front two teeth, the front four teeth are pointing the same direction. Fold in all this good stuff and you're left with that. You point that at padded part here, the protected part, and then just kind of slip in the, the heel. And that's pretty much it. Grab the straps, chuck them in there, straps, chuck them in there and you're good to go. The problem with crampons is often if they're too much work to take out and put on. Sometimes you might just rely on micro spikes versus actually using the proper gear in a situation where you really should be using crampons. So I like that these come out, they put on really easily. Um, they're not gonna be obviously as secure as if you had a lug on your boot and the full snap and all that good stuff. But then again, I'm not a mountaineer. So hopefully you enjoyed this review of the BRS, cheap Chinese crampons. Yeah, not too bad. And they're priced right. So they'll be linked down below if you wanna pick them up. Be sure to subscribe and until the next one, have a great day. Thank you.